If we take our big initiative, which is new pedagogies for deep learning, uh, we call it also deep learning. And so literally the NP part, new pedagogies, means really new uh, learning relationships between and among students, teachers, and families. So it's a transformation of teaching and learning, basically. And then the deep learning is about uh, deeper learning outcomes for students. And the formal uh, way of saying it, or at least the succinct way of saying it, is that deep learning is about understanding and using the six C's in order to be able to flourish as a learner in complex world. The six C's are character education, citizenship, collaboration, communication, creativity, and critical thinking. The latter four of those C's are often called the 21st century learning skills. Uh, they're the so-called cognitive skills and they're in the curriculum. We've added character education and citizenship and it's a very powerful combination when you take the six. So uh, six C's, going deep with all students and teachers and systems is what this work is about. So we have to think of this work as innovation, and which means we didn't have it all planned out in advance. You create it by doing it and that the schools and the systems that came into this, which are now a thousand schools from 10 different countries, Ontario is a very strong base for that. These are schools and uh, uh, districts who said, we want to go in this direction. We're not clear, we know you're not clear, but if we team up and we create a living laboratory development, that's the best way to get there. We actually started with the concept of leadership from the middle. Uh, which is uh, 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 something that we've arrived at that says top-down change doesn't work. If you leave it up to individual schools, it's too desultory. So where's the glue? The glue is in the middle. Where's the middle? The middle are districts. So that's what we're, where we started. Uh, and the districts were, uh, were the, the unit that we connected with. Then when we started to work together, one of the big surprises was what I'm going to call uh, uh, the, the bottom-up forces. And the bottom-up forces are uh, because the new pedagogies actually do empower students, among others, uh, they, uh, they, they actually ran with it much more than we thought. And so the, the push for change is now coming upward from students and teachers into the school and, and into the system. Even though we started in the middle, we're now appreciating that you go to uh, those forces and unleash them, liberate them is really what is happening. In our work, uh, I want to underscore this, it's about system change. It's not about individual schools. It's not even about individual districts. Whole systems means a province of Ontario, the state of California, New Zealand as a country. It means 100% of the schools are implicated. It means that the change has to have that sustainability through the system uptake. Uh, even though we're now uh, really mining the, what we're discovering at the bottom. So it's a, it is a surprise. When we think about uh, what's happening. They're implementing the six C's. The teachers introduced it. Uh, this, a lot of this uh, empowers uh, uh, teach, uh, teachers as well as students. And one of the things, the way I would describe it is, uh, I'll start with uh, what's, what the outcome is and then, and then what, why it's happening, is that what is happening is that students are being liberated. Uh, they care more about school. They care more about life. They care more about making a difference. And once we uh, talked about that, because it's in character education and citizenship, for example. The citizenship is what's, where's the world? What's the diversity? What's my contribution? How can I help humanity? How can I be better off? So they are starting, they're becoming citizens of tomorrow, today. I'm talking about eight-year-olds, 10-year-olds, young, younger, younger. And they become a force for change because they don't, they're not committed to the status quo. Students aren't. They don't have any vested interest in keeping things the way they are. They're frustrated with the boredom of traditional schooling. So they're ready. They're, they're ready to change. They may not know how to do it. They may not have had an opportunity, but NPDL or DL gives them, because the teachers and the schools and the districts are doing it deliberately, uh, they're opening this up. And they're as surprised as anybody the way it takes off. They're really taking off uh, students that, and by, by change agents, what we mean are they're starting to influence the pedagogy of teachers, how to group, uh, uh, how to give us more, uh, more opportunity. Uh, we can help you assess the outcomes, all kinds of uh, real participation. So one category is a student as change agent for pedagogy. 
pushing uh, students, uh, teachers, I should say, and, and other students, each other, into these really new ways of learning. Another is uh, impact on the learning environment. They're talking about grouping, about how, how to link to the environment, to sustainability, all kinds of things the learning environment gets loosened up. And I also have a third uh, theme which is called uh, students as uh, agents of societal change. It sounds really highfalutin, but it's practical. The, these are, the students are saying, and this is the phrase we use now, helping humanity is natural for, I'm going to call these the millennials, born between, let's say, 1982 and the year 2000, just to take that frame. These kids are different. Uh, they, they're not going to be uh, wanting to work with organizations that are stodgy. Uh, but they do want to make a collective uh, and an individual impact. And they, it starts with this project very early age where they're doing things to, uh, to really help their local community. They're doing things to uh, break free in the learning sense, the global sense. So uh, we're documenting it because we didn't go in there with saying we want to cause this to happen, but we appreciate it. We're leveraging it.